over here. So where's the barrel come from? This is Black Hills. So we've got some, um, this is the 2010 vintage. So we have the 2009, which has just been released, of the Syrah. And this is the next vintage. So this one was picked in essentially October, November of last year. It was in barrel. It's still in barrel. It will be in barrel until next May. Generally about that point. And then we'll bottle it. And we'll hold it back until November and release it again, being the 2010 vintage. I'll give you a little taste of that. This is a it's young and fresh. And this is Black Hills. Yeah, Black Hills known to Benny is one that most people know from the winery. This is the second vintage of Syrah. And that's the Syrah that you'll see in the store right now. This is the 09. There we go. Yeah, taste? Let's try that and the 09. Sure. So, perfect. Well, thank you. It's just my pleasure. You had a barrel taste before? No. Well, so we thought it would be kind of fun what, to bring it down. What's to look for? I mean, is it just well, it's just than it would be out of the bottle? Essentially, I mean, anytime you've got a you've got a younger wine, it's a little clumsy, kind of like a teenager. I mean, it's you know full of life, but it's not fully developed. And you probably get a fair bit of pepper and spice out of this one. The barrel rounds something out. It's the best way to describe a barrel. It takes a square and makes it a circle. It takes off those edges and rounds it out, makes it a little more viscosity. Uh, what happens next is the bottle age will give it that complexity and that the really interesting um, characters that, that make it that special wine before we release it. So what I'll do is... You, you can't get the 10. You can only get the... No, the 10's not ready yet. We're working until next May when it's uh, when it's bottled and next November. So just about this time Correct. next year, we'll be back here pouring 10 vintage, possibly a barrel of 11. Wine is about a year. Nine was a little tougher year, a little cooler year, so a little more restrained in the flavors. Um, ten was a little richer and wiper in style, a little bit more forward on the spice. Just I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I'll grab some. Can you guys get a bottle of that? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So there we go. That's the 2000. There you go. Thank you. Bottoms up. That spit bucket hasn't been used much today. <laughs> I wouldn't waste so the can is, in there. I, I, went, I, went the, the, I think it was the first or second wine festival. Yeah? And we made sure we hit every winery. It was labeled 70. Wow. Uh, part of the you must have been taking a cab home. Welcome to everything. It's fine. You'll see. I mean, obviously it's a different minute, so you, you can't really do a comparison. But you'll find that it's some similar. For everyone. This one's a little spicier. Yeah, this one's a little more elegant, a little more European style. Wine this is today. I'm, I'm more partial right now to the 09 because I love a good chunk of lamb or some veal or something. I think that would look really good. It's almost rosy style. It's not just for collectors. And don't forget to join us at our good. That's also very good. There's a little bit of Viognier and Alibi on the bar if you're in the mood for some white. Thank you.